Okay. So basically, hi, <laughs> I'm Jaden. I watched a video, and it was a couple of friends having a conversation about childhood crushes they had from like TV shows and movies and stuff. And I thought it was really funny, and so I wanted to get my friend, and we were going to talk about it. And so I did that, and I hope you enjoy our little discussion we have. Yay! Yay! Hi, I'm Sydney. Hi, Sydney. Hi. <laughs> Okay, okay, so we have crushes sometimes, and we're gonna talk about them. Yeah. Yeah. So, obvious, obvious ones. Right. You got Danny Phantom. He's a phantom. Danny Phantom. Absolute legend. Absolute legend. Can I, okay, yeah. can I just tell you, mm -hmm. this boy formed my expectations <laughs> for childhood crushes I mean, into my expectations for crushes here today. Ooh. For like real life crushes or TV ones? Both. Ooh. Both. Those are high standards. The highest standard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you've got. Wait. Do all of them have dark hair and nice voices? I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Pretty hair. Because I'm thinking Zuko. Mm -hmm. Hello. Zuko here. Uh, but I guess you probably already know me. Sort of. Danny Phantom. Right? I feel safe. I'm going ghost! Beck from Victoria. Yes, they, they do! They all have dark hair and nice voices. Oh no. Hey, if you go to Hollywood Arts, you may know me, Beck. If you don't go to Hollywood Arts, I'm Beck. Oh, we man. have a type. We have a type. Here I we mean, go. <laughs> Boy. I mean, it's not a bad type. I'm it's not. not. Lie. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Beck's hair was cute. I like Beck's hair. Beck's hair, Beck's everything was cute, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just, such a supportive boyfriend, mm -hmm. even when Jade was freaking crazy. Yeah, she was losing it. She was, he was still there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Danny Phantom, the most sarcastic man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got Prince Zuko, or Fire Lord Zuko. Fire Lord? Yeah. <laughs> He's in a position of power, okay. <laughs> You got Fire Lord Zuko, who, he's just, after he leaves his abusive family and gets some love, you know, some true love. Yeah. He, what an awkward sweetheart. I know. But a hot, awkward sweetheart. Yeah. And, and that's what we're looking for. Right, right. And I love that he, like, it didn't necessarily take his significant other for him to, like, change. Yeah. Like, his journey with his friends, like, really just, his character arc in general is just... <sighs> Chef's yes, kiss. Yeah. Yes. You know, that's like the only like antagonist redemption story that I'm like, yeah, really sold it for me because I was invested in it from day one. Right. But it got the characters to be invested in it and believe that he wanted to be good. It was, ah, uh, Prince Zuko. I know. Absolute legend. Right. Um, I know that we've talked about, oh man, <laughs> I know that we've talked about the original crushes, the good ones. I'd like to, let's get into some more, um, dangerous territory, <laughs> if you will. So, one of my, like, it was kind of normal as a kid, but now it's kind of like sus. So, I had a crush on Diego from Go Diego Go. <laughs> I, I don't even remember his personality, to be honest. I, know. <laughs> I just remember he had cargo shorts. Which is not a good look <laughs> for anyone. But he had a jaguar. Yes, he did! <laughs> he had a pet jaguar! <laughs> and he could swing on vines, and he was adventuring in his little sneakers. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay? <laughs> Hello? Like, I barely paid attention to Dora, but when I found out, they had like a crossover episode, and I was like, who is he? <laughs> I don't know something about him. He was teaching me Spanish a little bit. He was really just looking at animals, and I was I like, know. okay, hottie. <laughs> okay. I'm like six years old, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> but that was like the only one I could really think of. That was kind of like, oh. Yeah. Well, okay. At least he's like a person. Yeah, he's you. an actual person. Yeah, you got a sus one. You got a weird. <laughs> I, can you explain? Okay. What? So, your mind was doing? I don't even know. I, my crush was Barney. <laughs> Barney the, the, the dinosaur Barney. Dinosaur. Barney is 
I don't even remember why. What? Like, I don't even, I can't even recall if I actually watched Barney. What? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you had a, you had a crush on a stuffed animal, not even the character Barney. I think that was it. What? I think it was just like a comfort <laughs> thing. Okay. If it's a comfort thing, I can understand. <laughs> but since you said, right. I asked you earlier, you were like, I had a crush on, I'm like, whoa. Pop the brakes there. Yeah, that, yeah. So you were like, man, I'd, I'd date this little plushie. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd hold his hand. Yes. I'd hold his hand. No, and I would on purpose like hold his hand, like his little, his little plushie <laughs> hand. <laughs> on purpose, hold that. Like it was holding somebody else's hand. Sydney. Yeah. No. Yeah. You had your first boyfriend was a plushie. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I, my first love. <laughs> I genuinely can't even fathom, like, as a kid holding on to something for that long. <laughs> like, I lost stuff so often, so the fact that you were in a committed relationship <laughs> at two to seven is so crazy to me. <laughs> what in the world? That's so insane. Yeah. Do you have, like, pictures of you guys, like, on dates? Um, I probably have to ask my mom. Like, I would take this thing everywhere. Oh my god. Everywhere. I don't know. They're probably, they're somewhere. I love that. Gotta be. I love that. That's, I'm glad that I got an explanation. <laughs> yes. Because when you first proposed that, I was like, <laughs> she's really in love with this. Like, I, Barney can't even be like human size. Like, he's probably like, that suit's probably like seven feet tall. Right. So I'm like, she has a crush on a <laughs> seven foot tall purple dinosaur as a child? I mean, I think I sit for like volleyball players now. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> like six foot ten. But here's the thing, here's the thing. They're <laughs> human and real. <laughs> Bonnie's a dinosaur. Um, so it's different for you to like a volleyball player. But a dinosaur is a whole different thing. Um, only thing, I don't have this crush. But I've seen it on the interwebs. Right. The social medias just right. proposed. Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. I can honestly understand it. You can understand it? It's like, he's like mean. Uh-huh. Until he's soft and a dork, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> like, it's like, I'm gonna be aggressive to anyone else and like protect my space. And then once you're cool, then like, hey, bestie. Okay, I understand. Oh, I don't, okay. You can roast me after I say this, but I don't get the anthropomorphic animals. Really? I don't get it. That's crazy. I had a crush on Simba. Hakuna Matata? Yeah, it's our motto. What's the motto? Nothing. What's the motto with you? <laughs> yeah. I didn't like him no. when I first watched it. Uh huh. My mom's like, loves that. Like, she's been to the musical a bunch of times. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. she loves it. We've watched it so many times. Mm hmm. Um, I think when I was like a kid, kid like elementary school, we watched it a couple of times, and I was like, I think the colors are pretty. Look at the <laughs> look at the talking lion. That's cool. <laughs> and then I got to like later elementary, closer to middle school, not like fifth grade, but like maybe fourth. Mm -hmm. And I don't know something about like I think it's the voice acting. Maybe I think it's really the voice it. acting. But Toothless doesn't have a voice. But I can speak for Simba <laughs> because I don't know who voice acted. But he kind of does. Because there I was be, kid Simba and there was adult Simba. Yeah, I had a crush on end of kid 
really adult mm. because it was like getting more comfortable in your own skin, kind of cocky. Oh my god, that riff at the end. Yes, yes, yes. That's what got me. Okay, I understand that's that. That's what got me. I understand me. that. Like really when he's like growing up, he's yeah. like getting his little stride in. Yeah. Um, and then afterwards he like meets Nala again. Mm -hmm. It's all like flirty. Mm -hmm. Like I think it was more about the voice acting, but it was, I think it really was a singing for me. Yeah. His yeah. voice actor was great. Mm -hmm. But other than that, you know, you know Carolina? That yeah. Is? Mm -hmm. she, you, Zootopia. Oh my gosh. She has a crush on the fox. Are you? <laughs> I've never seen that movie. I don't understand it. <laughs> I do kind of get you for the anthropomorphic thing, mm -hmm. but I just, I don't, I don't see it. Yeah, no. I don't no. get it. I, and that's just like great voice acting. Right. But other than that, it's like, mm, okay, yeah. suspicious. Right. You're out here having crushes on like uh, wolves. A uh, fox? Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> that's crazy. That's kind of it's a bit weird. <laughs> um, I think Simba was the only like animal that mm -hmm. I had a crush on. Mm -hmm. Everyone else was like a dude, mostly right. fantasy people. It's uh -huh. so, like Danny Phantom. You can't turn into a ghost. Right. Right. I don't know if I liked him because he had superpowers. Was a cool as a human being or was a cool human being with superpowers <laughs> i don't know which it was okay well if you want to talk about that we've got to get into teen titans oh yeah we do because we do we do oh, oh that could be anthropomorphic too beast boy okay i don't like like um like freaking gorilla beast boy <laughs> like no so want to be a titan <laughs> okay that's fair that's fair but robin <laughs> we think you'd make a great addition to our team i see it Man. The dark hair yes. again. It's back with the dark yes. hair. <laughs> dark hair, very strong personality. Yes. Ooh, Robin was it for me. <laughs> yes. I, I. He was a bit too broody. Not broody. He gave me very much angsty teen. Yeah. Which I can understand. I I, mean, I have my angst. If you grow up with Batman, yeah. I feel like that's inevitable. Yeah, yeah. I, I shop at Hot Topic, okay? <laughs> I have my angsty teen moments. I can appreciate him <laughs> as a character. And I can see him as, like, attractive sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, something about Beast Boy. Mm -hmm. Just a goofball. Yeah, just, just a, a little goofball. sweetie. I don't know, something something about him. You know what? You know what I think it is? Mm -hmm. I think I'm just really attracted to superpowers. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, be Raven. Raven. Robin, there's too many bird people. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I did. Mm. Okay, we'll get. We'll talk about Raven <laughs> later. <laughs> but Beast Boy, I just I really liked his like abilities and stuff. Like mm -hmm. Shakespeare's a crazy dynamic to have. Right. Um. And Robin animals? doesn't have any powers. I know. Again, like Batman. Like, <laughs> like what do just, you do? He's just <laughs> has a rich dad figure. Yeah. And learn how to fight. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And like I can see it. Mm -hmm. He's a good leader. Mm -hmm. However, comma. <laughs> Give me a little shapeshifter boy with a goofy personality. Uh, we can we can vibe, you know. Yeah. Yeah. There's something about he's just a freaking goofball. He's just a sweetie. Yeah. I don't know. Like I think I can't get I'm too sensitive. Mm -hmm. I like characters. Like with the toothless thing, with the toothless thing. Mm -hmm. Like I like characters that are like aggressive at first, defensive at first, and they soften up. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't do that in a relationship. I feel like I would be like, you hate me God. immediately. Yeah. But I like watching the characters happen, so I think Robin would be too like combative, firm in his ideals, yeah. and I wouldn't be able to handle that. So I think that wasn't a crush. Like, I see him as attractive, mm -hmm. but I couldn't handle it as a crush. Gotcha. But Beast Boy's like, already open book. Mm -hmm. Like I could already just <laughs> show up like, hey, yeah. let's go get something. Yeah. But Robin's like, I have 8,000 things in my schedule. <laughs> I have to run the Teen Titans. I don't have time for you right now. I'm like, Okay. He made time for Starfire though. He did. That alien. <laughs> <laughs> they were a cute couple, they were. They were really cute. They were really fighting time together. However, Beast Boy and Raven. That's it. Thank you for coming to my <laughs> TED Talk. I don't know. Something it's the it's the golf girlfriend golden retriever boyfriend oh my dynamic. Yes. That's literally what it is. I love that trope so much. Angsty teen cool girlfriend yes. and supportive like yes. scrawny boyfriend that's just yes. here to love her. Oh my god. That's literally what it is. Right. Oh my god. I love that so much. Yes. Oh my god. Um, well since we're on the topic of like girlfriends, let's get into who would you immediately disregard. 
for their girlfriend. I I can't tell if I want to be Raven uh-huh. or date Raven. <laughs> so I'm going to leave her out of it. But back from Victorious, oh my God. I will leave oh him for Jane. God. Right, Jane? Jane? Is, she, is she toxic? A little bit. However, <laughs> <laughs> I might risk it. Britney Spears didn't make that song for nothing, you know? Baby, can't you say? <laughs> she, she's a little bit toxic, but I might, I might gotta date Jade. Jade? Oh my god. It's again, um, with Danny Phantom. I can't remember his... Sam, I think. Sam! Yeah. Sam? <gasps> Golden Retriever. Go yes! Yes! Like, it's that girlfriend. Trope. And the cool boyfriend that's like a scrawny <sighs> film. Oh, man. But Jade, there's just something... Okay, I really loved her voice. Oh, yeah. Like, singing with Ariana Grande. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fantastic. But again, a little toxic, but I feel like we'd have a great time. Yeah, it's okay. We a can great work with time. It. Therapy and we'll be fine. Exactly. Oh Do a little bit of therapy and we'll be fine. Right. Oh. Yeah. Jade. <laughs> I'm gonna leave her out of it. Like, I'm just trying to think of other people and all I have is Jade West just in my no head. No thoughts, just Jade. Oh. I don't even know. Um, who else would I like drop? I don't know. I think Sam was cool though. Sam was cool. I think she was like supportive. Like I cannot remember. I just remember that she would help him. Wasn't it like he was doing the whole ghost thing and he would be like, I need help hunting this ghost and like fighting him. So he like fight the ghost and she would like help catch him or something. I think, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remember her. She looked cool. Right, I like the blue hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was, she was just cool. Oh my God, oh my God, another one, another one, Kim Possible. Ron and Kim. Yes. Golden Retriever yes. boy. Cool. Freaking cool girl. Like, Kim yes, yes, butt. yes, yes, yes. Yes. Again, like that trope. Yeah. Kim Possible was big for me. I, I big, big for me. I dropped. Ron was a sweetheart. But I, I dropped drop him for him. him. Oh my drop god. Drop him in a heartbeat. Yes. Sorry, bro. But he, he would understand, though. He would. He, he'd he be would. supportive. He'd help you pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, all right, I'm, it sucks that you're moving out of here, but. I'll, I understand. Here you go. You, I'll, you know what? I'll leave. You can have this. I'll get to another apartment. You can have the space. Right. Right. Oh, Kim. Kim was cool. Kim was cool. Mm -hmm. I like how this started out as guy crushes, and it's just been like, yeah. So just regard men, <laughs> <laughs> women. <laughs> um, yeah. Or like, oh, my other favorite trope. Other than it's kind of like a subcategory of like cool mm -hmm. emo girlfriend and like. Gamer, golden retriever, yeah. scrawny, scrawny boyfriend, but like supportive boyfriend that thinks he's cool on his own, and then you introduce his girlfriend. His girlfriend's way cooler. Yeah, like <laughs> like Prince Naveen. Yeah, he's a prince. Oh my god. But Tiana's way better. Yeah, she is a freaking business owner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Getting it together. Has a plan. Yes. Can sing. Yes. Uh, um, you watched Mulan, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Isn't Shang? Yeah. And then Mulan. Like yes. he's a he's a little. The military commander man. guy. Yeah, he's a military <laughs> man. He's doing something. Right. But then, is he a woman beating stereotypes? I think not. Yeah, right. <laughs> Absolutely not. So I don't know. But I think what's cool about those guys is that they know that mm. they're they don't even come close. They don't yeah. hold a candle to their girlfriends. Yeah, and they're fine with it. Right. <gasps> you know who really gets me? Hmm. Eugene from oh Tangled. When he what. At last I see the light, the song. Yes. When he looks at her. And it clicks. Yeah, oh. yeah. But he literally, his first interaction with her, she knocks him out like six <laughs> times with a frying pan. But he still is like, I am in love. Right. And it's so sweet. And it's like, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> She's significantly cooler than I am. And I'm like a thief. Yeah. Like I'm robbing, doing massive heists. Mm -hmm. And my girlfriend was in a tower for 18 years, but right. she still managed to be cooler than me. And right. I'm perfectly fine with that. Right. And it's like, we love to see it. Supportive. I don't know if I would drop Eugene for her. I don't think so. I will leave them together. However, Eugene, he kind of cute. Okay. Okay. So, did you watch Rise of the Guardians? No. <gasps> oh my Wait, god. Wait, oh my god. Yes! Jack yes, Frost! Jack Frost! <laughs> I hope the Yetis treated you well. Oh, yeah. I love being shoved in a sack and tossed through a magic portal. Oh, good. That was my idea. Okay, <laughs> it's like 
said because it's the same thing but he his main like character design like you recognize white hair and stuff mm-hmm. but it's still the same dark the hair same. Yes. sarcasm yes. cool like childhood yes. personality yes. but still like really when i tell the you superpower. when i tell you when mcdonald's dropped their like their toys, <gasps> the toys? For, the, for the kids meals i was like i need to get jack frost right now yes i had a fat sometimes Sometimes I watch compilations on YouTube of him just speaking. Are you serious? I just watch him speaking and like the animation of him like, why aren't you real? <laughs> but I wouldn't date him because he's like immortal, I yeah. think. Which yeah. is stinky. Mm-hmm. Very gross. Mm-hmm. I think he died when he was like 17 or something. That's right. Like froze to death so, or something. He, I, we are the same age. He could. <laughs> I would switch him. I would. However, I hate being cold. <laughs> and I feel like if, what if you kiss Jack Frost, would you get stuck like t- like the way like you went a to pole? a pole? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what are the logistics of kissing Jack Frost? <laughs> You're asking the right questions, though. Yeah, the, you are really asking the right. Oh my questions. god! Someone call up Matt Pat from Game Theory, Film Theory. <laughs> hey Matt. <laughs> hey bestie just a, just a quick question hypothetically if you were to make out with jack frost how would that work <laughs> and he's like i'm already on it i got you i got you <laughs> oh love that man oh god anthropomorphic do you remember the easter bunny from it uh... oh my god some people had a crush because Rise of the Guardians was all like the holidays and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember the Tooth Fairy. She was like... She was cute. She was a little hummingbird. Yeah. I was wondering what she was. She's a hummingbird? I think so. Okay. I remember Santa Claus too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big, big burly dude. I remember the bunny. I yes, remember the bunny. Some people had a crush on the bunny. Because he was Australian. I feel like that's the only reason why. Look at him. Okay. I don't get it. I don't either. I don't get it. Like, look at Jack Frost and then look at that. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Jack has no business being. They probably only liked his voice actor because he was Australian or something. I think like that's that. what people get into anthropomorphic people. Because they're voice actors? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see that with Simba, like we were talking about, but not not the Easter Bunny. <laughs> I'm just looking at pictures of Jack Frost. <laughs> <laughs> he has no business being that cute. I know. Yeah, he's so. And he's good with kids. Yeah, oh! <laughs> Sydney. I know. I love him. I'm gonna have to watch. I'm gonna have to rewatch that movie now. You should. It's yeah. so good. It's so good. And Jack Frost. I know. Wow. My thoughts just Jack Frost. <laughs> like, like Jade. Andy. Like Jade. The Jays. The. Oh it's the Jays. It's the J names. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Sydney. Uh huh. Didn't you have a crush on the the shiny teeth in me guy? <gasps> From Ship Skywalk from Fairly Odd Parents, the tooth guy. Yes. Those bones in my jaw that don't have a flaw. My shiny teeth and me. My shiny teeth that twinkle just like the stars in space. My shiny teeth that sparkle and beauty to my face. My shiny teeth that glisten just like the Christmas tree. You know they walk a mile just to see me smile. Woo! Another dark hair, light eyes. Oh. <laughs> Another one. And okay, I liked. Uh, I think it's I liked his voice actor. Like okay, that's fair. Like Icky Vicky and then Shiny Teeth and Me. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Those were bops, and you can't tell me otherwise. They were bops. I like they were both like. You know what? <laughs> I think the crush, the person is sus. You're like. Chip Skylark and I'm like Simba. <laughs> the, look, the image itself questionable. <laughs> the voice actor, however, yeah, yeah. that ooh, hello, yeah. wow, definitely voice actor supremacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm good. I'm just, I'm just really happy. I know. I got the clarification on Barney because <laughs> I was <laughs> like, I was waiting to record this, and I was like. I really hope it's not something super insane. I know. Yeah, you'd have to drop me. Like, I would give you permission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no longer like, be my friend. I can't. I don't know. She's really cool, but I don't know if I can trust her. She had a crush on a dinosaur. Well. <laughs> like, it's not even, like, cool voice actor dinosaur. It's, like, random yeah. man in a costume. Yeah. <laughs> what if you had a crush on, like, Big Bird or something? Big Bird? Big Bird, I think, scared me. He, he's terrifying. He is terrifying. <laughs> he is. Oh, oh, Snuffleupagus? 
<laughs> yeah. Absolutely not. The Muppets are terrifying. Yeah. I think the only one I could, like, tolerate. It's not even Muppet. I don't know. Um, thank you for coming over. Yeah. We talked about crushes. Yes. And this is really fun. I understand, no. I understand why I'm gonna reach you, the girl that did the yeah. animated crushes video. She did three of them. And I understand why. Because mm-hmm. there's, there's so such, much content. Right. Just to talk about and with like different people. I might honestly, I might just have this conversation with other people. I know. Just to see what happens. Right. Like in group settings. Like seeing how like Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how it is now. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh, um, man. Thanks, Bestie. Yes, of course. I could talk about this all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so fun. All day. Okay. Alright. Bye. Bye. <laughs>